Fatima came with uh, Valeria Trezia. Her main problem being, though she cleared the jaundice, she was having uh, regular recurrent fever. So it is the recurrent cholangitis, and uh, she did not put on much of weight as well. And failure to try was the indication for her surgery. As you could see, she was uh, quite small, and uh, the surgery went on well. But just because of the nutrition, poor nutrition, her ventilation was prolonged. She can't make her own breathing. So actually her intensive care stay was quite prolonged. And uh, it's only with the effort, combined effort of the nurses, physiotherapists, uh, we could sort of able to extubate her and come out of the intensive care. And the father could have answered the question, she's doing extremely well and they are about to go home. Uh, it's mainly a chest infection and the respiratory problem uh, kept in the hospital for a longer time than the liver problem per se. Uh, she cleared off the jaundice within a week's time after surgery, but mainly because of the poor chest uh, effort, respiratory effort and need of ventilation. And she had a prolonged intensive gas day and uh, she is doing extremely well now and uh, as you could see she will be going home next week. Uh, we are from uh, Maldives. My, my daughter's name is Fatmet uh, Masaid. We live in the capital of Maldives. She was born with a severe attrition. We have found out uh, after we did, uh, after we went to India, we went to King's Hospital, they did uh, the diagnosis of her. And uh, uh, the reason we came here is because they referred us to a higher liver transplant center. Research on the internet and find out that uh, this hospital is one of the best hospitals in India. And then we have found out about Dr. Vera and we did a research on him that makes us. As I said, uh, she was uh, born with malaria nutrition, she had jaundice, and uh, the hospital where she was born, they referred us to King's Hospital in Tibetan. There we did a uh, side uh, procedure for her. After that also she was having a fever quite frequently. So then uh, again we brought her to the same hospital and they referred to a higher uh, transplant centre. I think uh, the doctors is one of the reasons why we came here. Uh, the first time we came here we met Dr. Naresh and he's been very kind, very friendly, very nice to us. Uh, share you one experience that I had in the morning. One time when she was having uh, uh, fever for about uh, I think 10 days. She was admitted for the 10 days and uh, she was not doing well. And uh, I called uh, Dr. Naresh and uh, through the phone uh, he actually advised us the medicines to the doctors there and she was able to uh, recover from that uh, fever. Before the surgery also, the problem with her is only that fever. She was uh, getting this fever quite uh, often. And, uh, after the surgery, I don't know if you know about this, but she got very sick after the surgery, but then uh, she's now here to see that she recovered. So I think uh, we are very happy that you know, uh, to the point that she went, you know, to getting very sick and uh, recovering from it is a very huge thing. And we are very happy. We appreciate the doctors here, the facility, and uh, the nurses, everybody here. Everybody is a combination of everything. Uh, as you said, you know, that after only the transplant, we are able to. I mean, I have read many things about the hospital, but only after the transplant, uh, we came to know that this hospital helped the uh, modern like the facility. You know, after the transplant, when she was sick, you know, she was able to come back with the help of the doctors and the facility. You know. And before, so I said, you know, the doctors, we appreciate them a lot. You know, they are, they are, I think, the best. You know, not just one thing, you know, it's intelligent, many things, you know. The facility, you know, that you have the best facilities. You, know, you have the best doctors. And uh, the staff, the nursing staff, they, and they took care of, you know, so it's just not, they doing the job, you know. They're not following the doctors, because there's no care that uh, we saw. And also, I think, uh, Global hospital, you know, the 
making this uh, engagement to make it this affordable to us is something we do appreciate a lot. I think before the surgery, you know, as we said, you know, she's having uh, quite frequent fever and uh, it's only been a month, you know, it's little early to say something, but uh, so far what we have seen is, you know, she's not uh, uh, having it, you know, that fever and like before that uh, also she was failing to get uh, uh, weight. But uh, after the surgery we have noticed that she's uh, improving like in terms of gaining weight and uh, even though she has lost so much weight uh, after the transplant because of her illness, she has gained it uh, to the point.